friends today we're gonna to make a very easy recipe we're in revival at church and so I need a really fast recipe um, it's just gonna have a few ingredients it's gonna have some pork chops some sour cream and some French onions you can this is a Berkshire's brand but it's a store brand but it's you know it's just as good so uh, to get started and then whatever spices that you prefer um, to get started let's just get our meat and if you want to trim your pork chops, I'm, I'm using um, boneless um, sirloin pork chops. And if you need to, to um, trim those in any way, then just go ahead and do that. I don't, I'm not going to trim mine today. So let's just go ahead and let me move you down so you can see. And we're going to go ahead and spray our pan and place our chops. <clears throat> First of all, I'm, I'm, the spice I'm gonna use is garlic salt. If you don't wanna use salt, you can use garlic powder. And I'm going to go ahead and season this backside with garlic salt and then place them down so we can do the other side as well. Okay? This is really, really easy and fast, so. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and season this side. And let me rinse my hands just really quick. Okay. Now, on your on your sour cream, this is a, uh, a pound um, little tub here. And I'm going to use half of it for this mini chops. You basically want to cover them really good. So, that'll kind of tell you how much you need. But I'm gonna use a half. I think a hoe would be too much. Got my oven on 350 warming up. We're just gonna smear that all around on top and then we're going to go ahead and put the whole container of these French fried onions on top okay and the, the this is a six ounce that I have here you can't hardly put too many of this because it gives it just a good flavor go ahead and do the whole container if you have another couple of chops, it's okay, but I like a lot of this, so you could, uh, it's not like you're going to have too many or too not enough. Okay, see how easy, easy that is? Now, if you wanted to put a little, more, little bit of pepper, I like to salt and pepper everything, but I'm not going to salt these because I am using garlic salt. Put a little pepper on there, put it in the oven, and that's it. All right, now... If you want, you need to cook this for about 40 minutes, um, 35 to 40 minutes. I'm going to cook mine uncovered. Okay, I'm going to take these out. It's been about that long, so we're going to take them out and check them. Now, I did about halfway through um, put some foil on top because I didn't want the onions to get any browner. Let's look at them. And I like using my little toaster oven because it doesn't warm up the house. Okay, it got a little little browner than maybe that I care for. I didn't get that full on there just in time maybe, but it'll still be delicious, okay? It's not burnt. We don't want burnt, but this looks so good. Let me cut into it and see how they, um, Make sure they're done. They've been in there for about 40 minutes, so I'm sure they are. Oh yeah, they're perfect. Okay, I want y'all to get a close look at this. 
It just looks so good. Oh, it's going to be good. Okay, look. Y'all get a look at this. We're going to serve it up and give it a taste test. Okay, so we're going to taste two things. <laughs> and this is going to be on the same uh, two different videos. But this is our, our potatoes, our skillet potatoes. And it is piping hot, y'all. But look, look down in that skillet and just look how good this is. Y'all, it's so good. I'm gonna make this for my husband. Look at all that cheese. Mm. That look good, darling? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then this is our our um, pork chops. They got a little browner than what I like before I put the skillet, the full on there, but it is still gonna be good, y'all promise. These little French onions. You can serve this with a salad or a um, another vegetable, just whatever you want. Okay, look. Here, I'll get you a fork and I'll give you a bite. Our new baby. You you eat it. You want me to taste it? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you well, try it first. I already know it's good. Make sure you're not poisoning me. <laughs> yeah. It smells really good. Man, it is good. I tell you what, having those little onions a little bit brown, I think maybe is better. Let me taste it again, just in case. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Y'all, I'm excited about these potatoes. Real excited. You got cheese and you got bacon. It makes anything good, don't it? Yep. Mmm. That right there, it don't get no better. Now, Chris would like some little chives on top, and it'd make it pretty. But I think it's good just like this, y'all. Go make you some. You'll be happy you did. I hope y'all make this. You'll be glad. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.